Yo, what's up guys? It is Zach Rowe with LB Certified Fitness and um, I got a new little project I wanted to do. Um, I, I've been wanting to get a uh, anterior tibialis um, piece of equipment. I was looking up them online. I couldn't find one for like more, less than like 50, which is not bad, but I was like, I was looking at them and even like the cheap ones that were like 50, they were just made out of PVC pipe and stuff. So, you know, I, in the past I've done a couple of projects with PVC pipe and put something together. I actually built um, a uh, water pump from hand with all PVC pipe. I even made the two-way valve myself. Um, so I was like, if I could pump water through this thing, I can make a tibialis um, contraption. So went to the store, got some, got some uh, PVC pipe and uh yeah we're gonna make it so and i want to document it because i think it'll be cool if people see um if they want to make them at home so i have a general idea of what i want to be doing um essentially it's almost kind of like uh if, if you just think about it, it's like a if you're using the preacher curl that square kind of uh bar with neutral handles i don't know if you've ever seen that at the at the at the gym um it's kind of like that but without two, instead of two bars to hold on to with your hands, there's going to be one bar in the center. And essentially where those bars would be to do like a neutral grip bicep curl is where your feet are going to go. And then you're going to have a post sticking out. And it just so happens that um, three-fourths inch pipe fits perfectly onto the, the weight plates that I have. So I was like, perfect. I could just, um, you know, just scratch it up, use some like sandpaper and it'll work perfect just slip it on and then just poke holes about as as uh, far apart as the the plates are and then you can just put a pin in it and then boom there you go you just like sit down on a, on a bench or something and you can do work your tibialis because um, currently I'm working with a the reason I want it I've been meaning to do this for a while just for myself but also I've been working with a cross-country um, athlete who you know we need to really work on lower lower leg strength like calves um soleus anterior tibialis posterior tibialis all that kind of stuff and i'm also working gonna start working with a uh basketball player who's trying to improve his vertical and stuff so um a lot of people really focus a lot on the gastroc and strengthen that muscle but uh anterior tibialis just the tibialis in general is really beneficial for improving vertical on top of just you know regular strength training uh so yeah and then you know i'm planning to work on more with more um athletes in the future so i figure this would be a good investment to build and it'll be fun i just really haven't had like a ton of just, like really fun stuff going on with fitness lately um i'm working towards it because i'm going to start training for my half iron man um but i'm just not feeling like super excited about fitness in general because, you know, it's just fitness in general, it's just, it's monotonous. It's the same kind of grind week after week after week. And that's just, that's what it is. So trying to mix it up, do something fun, build something. I like building stuff every once in a while. So, yeah, this is too long. I'm going to jump into it. See you guys in a second.
Alright, so I put the tip bar together. Um, it went surprisingly very easily. I have not put the um, PVC cement in there to really secure all the joints. Um, so, you know, that, that's something to be considered. But I just have some lightweight, what is this, two and, five, yeah, two and a half pounds. Um, I haven't even screwed any things on there yet. I just scored it up a little bit with the sandpaper, as you probably saw in the last um, clip. And yeah, I'm just going to try it, see how it goes. So, point toes away, and up. And it works. Imagine that. So, I'm not sure if you can exactly see that, so I'm going to scooch it down this way a little bit, just to double check. And that was surprisingly easy to do, honestly. Right here, point toes and squeeze. So your tibialis is the uh, front of your shins. They're what do dorsiflexion. Dorsiflexion is up like this, plantar flexion is away. So when people are considering um, increasing jump strength and or vertical, they always work on their, their gastrox, but you're your tibialis are important too. And it's important uh, for runners, if you especially get shin splints a lot, uh, having strong tibs. So yeah, I mean, that's that's basically it. That's That works. I'm, I'm honestly extremely shocked and very satisfied. So really all I'm gonna do now is um, just to make it look nicer. Well, first I wanna make sure it's really strong so I'm gonna put PVC um, cement in all these joints. Uh, it's not 100% squared away. Like you can see, some um, pieces are a little bit longer than others, and it's making it kind of warp a little bit. So I might shave those down just a little bit with the uh, rotary saw. Um, and then I'm gonna cut the post off um, a little bit, and then I'm gonna sand it down a lot, so I'll make it nice and smooth. Um, Cause it's like just like a perfect fit. Basically, these are three and a half, um, sorry, three and a quarter um, size for the plates. This is three and a quarter um, pipe. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do it down a lot, and then um, I might not even really need to drill holes and have a pin because they fit pretty snug. Um, but I don't want them slipping off just in case. So I, I, I'm gonna wait and see try and figure that out we'll see what I should do but yeah I mean that's basically a tip bar I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with this cool I, ma I made that literally so fast like 20 minutes maybe I don't even know when I started about 20 minutes uh, I'm just gonna it's pretty it's op completely operational as you can see I, I just used it even though it's really lightweight um, I'm just gonna make it stronger and make it look a little bit better all right sweet All right, so I went to the store, got my pin. Um, the like 2.5 uh, pound plate was pretty tight, but the bigger ones don't tend to, or don't seem to fit quite as well, and they slip off. So I'm gonna put this pin, I'm gonna drill holes. Um, so then, yeah, I can stack plates in there and pin it in, it'll be good. So I'm just gonna take a drill bit and, um, reverse it and uh, drill some holes. That way it will uh, stay in. So yeah, cut to the whatever it's called.
you know, I'm going to take this one, I'm just going to kind of circle around, make it just a wee bit bigger, but I don't think I want to go on a little drill bit up. That would be way too big. Yeah, so uh, that's really tight, but it works. So another test for the tip master right here. It's not fully punched through, but that's okay. It'll hold enough. So extend and flex. Boom, just like that. Look at us go. Sheesh. Perfect. And that's pretty strong even without any, um, whatchamacallit, um, PVC cement. So that's going to be really, really strong with the PV cement, PVC cement. So that's cool. All right. Should have turned it on for that one, but just drilled the second hole, um, testing that out. And I had a blow part, so that's kind of where the limit is without the PVC cement. So um, I'm going to do that now. Since they already kind of fell apart, I'm gonna I'm gonna paint everything up and let it set and dry, and then yeah, we'll see. All right, here it is, final product, all glued up. Um, I started to kind of record, and then I came into some problems while putting the rest of it together so I think I cut out the last bit of that um, little oops did I mess it up no I uh, really cut out the last little bit of that but um as you can see we got it all here um, where you put your feet the post we got our um, holes for our pin I'll probably add a couple extra holes in the future um, right now I can fit Two, two 10 pound plates, 20 pounds, um, which is a significant amount for your to be Alice. Um, so I feel like that should, oh geez. Gonna have to re-glue that. <laughs> um, I think it's still not perfect. I should not be putting too much torque on it while it's setting, because things like that could happen. I just want it to get set in place as best it can before I start fiddling with it. So I'm just going to let it sit and chill and just let it do its thing. Um, yeah, so it's not, you can see it's a little off. Um, I didn't measure things perfectly and um, pieces were slightly off, which not ideal. But um, uh, it's it's fitting together. Um, the PVC cement is really really strong, so it'll keep everything together. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy about this. If I make another one in the future, uh, I'll know how to improve upon and what to do. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put this on my social media stuff and uh, show it off because I'm kind of proud of it. And see if somebody wants one. Maybe I'll build it for for some money. Um, that's it. This has been it for uh, me, Zach Rope, with LB Certified Fitness. I might be doing some more of these kind of little build things. If I find other equipment that I want to make that I would like to use in my training, um, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I got a uh, Cookbook Chronicles in the. Um, back door and also another injury report thing. First one with Justin Turner didn't do very good, so I'm kind of meh about it. But I have like all my notes written out for the Baker Mayfield one, even though his injury was kind of like a bit of a while ago. I'm still gonna do it. So yeah, that's it. Um, check out my website if you want to train with me. Blah blah blah. If you're interested in um, building one of these, go for it. If you would like me to build it, hit me up. <laughs> I'll prove upon it. This is a first model. I, I, I know I could do something a lot better. Um, I literally built that probably like less than two hours. That was with two trips to Lowe's. So look at me. All right, that's been it. Peace.